Oh, hey, Trevor. Oh, hi, Becky. How are you? <laughs> you want to be my best friend forever? <gasps> really? You know, we're this friendship bracelet I need. Ooh, I'd be honored. Wow. <laughs> Don't ever take it off. Because you're my best friend forever. And you're with the cool guys. Forever. forever. The friendship bracelet, ah, the cause of stress and happiness to every middle schooler everywhere. <laughs> Did you know that they date back to ancient Central America? They've even found decorative bracelets way back in China in 200 BC, but Central America is the birthplace of them. And then in the 1970s, they blew up in the US, in every high school, every middle school to show their friendship to each other. Now the general rule with friendship bracelets, at least it used to be, was if you, you put one on your friend and then you made a wish. And that friend was supposed to keep their bracelet on forever until it fell off naturally. And then your wish would come true. Now in my school, it was just a sign of friendship. So you would give one to your friend and you'd have a matching one and you'd keep it on together, yay! and then if it fell off or you cut it off oh you know middle school drama because you didn't like your friend anymore or anything it was huge big deal but now it's more you know my kids now these days they still have them around but they're more hey happy friendship you know there was no stress behind it <laughs> which is good and we are going to explore the old way of doing it the good old-fashioned getting a bunch of embroidery fl floss and let's look at the new ways because I found all sorts of kits for friendship bracelets and they're actually pretty cool so we'll see which one seems to be the better one I don't know we'll see when I used to make these um, we would get, this is actually probably a lot of the thread that I used to have, because I am a crafting hoarder. Um, you would just get colors that you really liked, and it was the traditional chevron shape. Um, I will leave a pattern in the description below so that you can uh, make one for yourself. They're pretty fun. They just, uh, they just take some time, and I used to tie it onto my bedpost, not bedpost, I used to tie it onto my dresser knobs. I had, I bet you can picture it, the white 80s girl bedroom set. Loved it. And uh, it evolved into my computer station as well. Good old giant Mac where I played uh, Mist and Remy Cube. <laughs> Don't judge. But uh, I used to tie it, on, they had little knobs on the dresser drawers and I would just tie the end on and that's where I would start. And I, you can make them forever. I also did, did you ever do the yarn weaving scarves? Maybe we'll explore that later. But let's look at me making one right now.
the newer ones, I got this kit at one of my craft stores and make it real, bringing creativity to life. So let's crack this open and see what's inside compared to the old way of doing it. So let's take a look at this make it real, bringing creativity to life. Friendship bracelets. She looks happy. Now it says that it contains five colors of thread, some beads, and a play tray, an instruction sheet. That's good. So let's see what's in here. Of course, they glued it like crazy. Oh, so as you can see, it's a lot smaller than the box. That's okay, Let's as long as it's got all the stuff in there. Oh. All right, so it's got the thread it looks like and the beads and this must be the play tray. Oh, hey, and we got the good old instructions. That's important. Ah. So let's open this up and we'll see what we got. I like the colors on it. So it looks like it gave us a little tray and ah, it gave us little spots that we can uh, use to t hold it on one end. We'll see how heavy it is. And some very pretty beads. I do love these colors. We will look at the instructions and oh my goodness. We got a lot of instructions. So, looks like we put the beads up there. We decide what our colors we want. And it gives us how to knot it up. So, we have to decide. Do we want to make a candy cane friendship bracelet? A square knot one? A braided bracelet? A pink square knot one? And then it looks like a, another square knot with beads in it. Oh, but wait, there's more. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Actually, this is nice because it gives us a ton of patterns and you don't have to have just this. So all of my extra thread and things, I can make tons. So just uh, the instructions alone, this is pretty good. I think this was in the store it was about 12 bucks, something like that. I don't know if it's, you can always get these instructions online. So I don't know. It's kind of cool to have the paper. Let's try making, what should we make? Let's uh, get a little fancy pants. So they show on here, there's sort of the, dis the um, traditional one. This one's pretty cool. This looks a little ambitious. And I like the heart. So let's do a couple. Let's do the heart and maybe the little flowers here. Let's give it a shot. So the heart one is on here. Looks like it is. Oh. Okay, so first we'll try the braided bracelet. Um, that's the one with the little heart. And we'll do it, always do it by the book first and then you can uh, improvise later, right? Let's see if I'm smarter than, what is the age? This one also gives uh, where you can go online 
and get more patterns so and detailed instructions so that's nice oh and it looks like this is for ages eight up so whew, we're just in there and uh let's give this a shot i should be able to do this right oh. I'm going to pour all the beads in here. Supposedly, this is everything that I need to make these bracelets. And it looks like we got cute little... Cute little... Charms. Here's the heart that we'll probably be using. And other various beads. What color should we do? Hmm, I am fond of pink, so let's do pink. Does it say one color? So on the instructions it says, measure and cut two 19 inch pieces of yellow. Well, we're gonna use pink, so, because we're rebels. And I'll eyeball it. Oh, I guess I need scissors, huh? Oh, I see. So measure and cut two 19 inch pieces of yellow and cut four pieces of the coral. Okay, we can do that. Let's follow instructions, I guess. So we'll do, that's probably about right, right? We'll find out in a minute. One, Three and a four. We can find the end again. Uh oh. What have I done? Where's the end? Aha. And a four. And then we need two of the yellow. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. And finding the ends is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. Well, this is what we'll do. We need two. I'm gonna cut that. I got two strings and we'll make it the same length. And we'll cut it there. All right. I got my one, two, three, four pink ones and two yellow ones. What's the next step? Now it says, take one yellow thread and two coral threads and pass them through the loop of the charm. One coral. And two. Let me bring you down closer so you can see the details. Do the same. 
same thing. Okay, now we've got our bracelet with the two braided sides. We are going to connect it by doing a double knot. So, let's see if this will work out. Under, and you do the other one. My ends were shorter on the other side. Something like that. Ta-da! And my wrists are really small. What do you think? Ta-da! I could have made it a lot smaller, but it does the job. So what do you think? You wanna make some friendship bracelets now? You can give them out, you can keep them for yourself, it doesn't matter. So if you like this video, I would love it if you gave me a like, and ooh, it would be awesome if you subscribed, because I got lots more videos coming and uh, lots more ideas. And if you have any ideas of what I should explore, please leave a comment below. I will definitely take any suggestion. There's a lot of crafts and I need it all sorted. <laughs> But anyway, keep crafting and have fun and just enjoy it. Bye. Hey, Becky. Hey, Trevor. I never took your bracelet off. Well, that's okay. I've given them out to so many women. Marsh, Deborah, Tiffany, you name it. They all have friendship bracelets.